Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. So uh, today we're going to have our first Champions League fixture against Olympiakos. Hopefully we're going to be able to um, go um, and grab ourselves a win. Uh, it's always nice to start off one of the Champions League and Olympiakos in my opinion is a good place to start. Um, obviously I've set up the actual Champions League uh, groups apart from Genk as uh, they obviously um, Dinamo uh, Zagreb isn't actually in the game. So here uh, I think we actually sat Ramsey because he's the best free kick taker and um, look at what happens bang goal um, practically top bins great penalties from Aaron Ramsey um, keeper went the wrong way uh, happy to be 1-0 up uh, to be fair if the tackle for the penalty wouldn't have gone in it probably wouldn't have been a goal so the ref blows uh, for half time nothing much else has happened um, and so yeah the, these couple of games that I've actually played have been quite boring uh, but here Danny Welbeck goes through um, I think gets slotted through by uh, I think Barkley was it? I'm not actually sure there I think it might have been Barkley, he has been a decent player. And Danny Welbeck scores the goal, which is always nice to see. As um, Giroud, even though I'm not going to say he's not been performing, because compared to his real life form now, um, that was a great chance for them, um, by the way, um, to make it 2-1. Um, but in real life, he's not in good form at all. I don't think he's scored in about 11 games or something like that. So compared to that, and compared to a striker's form, a Giroud is in quite good form, but I just don't like him. I thought I was going to be able to deal with the fact that he's Giroud and exploit the fact that FIFA this year has been redesigned so that, you know, pace isn't particularly particularly relevant. So I thought it would work, but no. He's not a very good player, and in January we might uh, get a striker, a new striker, and this is just... This just demonstrates how how poor he is. Obviously, he got outpa outpaced by Matic. Well, not outpaced, he got caught. And great ball in from Santi Cazorla and Kosielny slash Giroud. Uh, if you actually look at this, the, the first replay isn't with a, a very good angle. But it was actually kind of a combination of the two because... It wasn't really one or the other if you, like there, you saw literally nothing. But here, as you can see, it was kind of both. For example, the commentator, as I was playing this game, did actually shout, Giroud. So, it was supposed to be Giroud's goal, but hey, doesn't really matter. Um, um, there, we nearly get a chance with Giroud, um, but doesn't quite pay off. Uh, another corner with Santi Cazorla. And it's punched out by Courtois. Headed back inside. Rafael Varane has a shot. But, you know, <laughs> he's Rafael Varane. He's not a particularly amazing finisher. Um, so, it has. we have been on a pretty decent form. I'm happy with uh, what we've achieved so far. And we hope to continue it. I'm wondering, guys, whether... And please do leave a comment whether you'd like to see me kind of do like like play offline obviously kind of show you the the scores for the particular fixtures and play two games um, on camera on camera as in the ones that I actually commentate over um, so we get through the season quicker and perhaps I can do a career mode with a different team or for one more season so leave a comment because doing that will probably be a good idea here terrible defending I personally think Bellerin should have cleared that away and who else but Fabregas scores um, not to hate on Fabregas he, he obviously left the club for Barcelona get on him and then Arsenal didn't uh, snatch him up and um, Chelsea did so that's that and so we're getting near the end of the game Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy what I do, then please leave a like rating and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace out.